I were to ask you about your money IQ, what would you say? In fact, let's say on a scale from one to 10, one being that you have no competence when it comes to money and 10, meaning you're financially competent, where would you rate yourself, your level of financial IQ or financial savvy? In the comments below, I'm going to add a link to my financial IQ quiz so that you can get the answer for yourself. In this quiz, this quiz, thousands of people have taken this quiz. And what's so interesting is this quiz that I created has 10 money questions. And they're just money questions about your life. They're not even financial essay questions. It's just numbers or, or money questions that you probably would want to know if you want to create wealth for your life and for your family. Out of the thousands that have taken this quiz, with the 10 being the highest score, meaning 10 out of 10 means you're mastering that financial IQ, the average score is 32%. So the IQ then is like 30% out of 100, meaning that we're basically an F category if we're put that on a normal A, B, C, D, F scale. So today, after looking and thinking about that score, I thought, let's talk a little bit about what money competence is. And there's this thing called knowledge. And knowledge means no. The first part of the word knowledge is no. And what's important to understand that there's a radical difference between knowing about something and knowing something. And we know if we know because our life reflects the knowledge or lack thereof. What that means in money terms is that if we're in a situation where money's not working for us, we have financial stress, financial tension, financial conflict, financial anxiety, money keeps us up at night, money's a big source of our just overwhelm, then it's probably an indicator that that mere life is reflecting that there are some things we don't know about money. And so that caused me to think of there Back in the day, I read this book by Noel Birch, and he talks about the four stages of learning, and it was called, I think he called it the competence model. So I thought we'd go over that today so that you can put yourself in one of these categories. Because if we want to create wealth, financial freedom, financial independence, financial surplus, financial peace of mind, financial security, financial safety, all these feelings and words when it comes to money, then if we want that, that's the effect of the cause before it. And the cause before it is money know-how, the knowledge of how to think about money and what to do with money, your behaviors, your habits, your practices, your mindset is these, which you know, wrapped up into that container that is the cause that creates the effect of the financial independence and freedom that we're all after. So these are the four stages and the four stages of learning. So my goal with this YouTube channel is to teach you money so that we can go across this board and get to this place of financial competence. And we call it unconsciously competent, but we'll get there in a second. So most of us, because money's not in school and because it's not talked about at home, is that money, our money know-how, our money IQ, our financial IQ is in this box. And this box is unconsciously incompetent. So the latest statistic that I've seen says that 82 to 83% of Westerners are month to month. They're financially stressed out. 80%, that's over 80%. <laughs> so that's everybody, you know, if we look in a room around us, 80% of us are stressed out about this thing called money. Why? Because we're in this box. We're unconsciously incompetent. And what that means is, I don't know what I don't know. That means you don't know what you don't know. And I talk to thousands of people per year when it comes to this thing called money, because that's what I do as a, as a financial consultant and money coach is I talk to you. In fact, if you want to call me and chat to me, chat with me about your financial situation, see if we can get to the bottom of it you can do that. I'll put a link in the comments if you if you want to have that type of conversation. But when I'm having these thousands of conversations every year, what I know is true, and I believe these statistics because this 80 plus percent statistics play true in my work, is that there's just so much dono dono when it comes to money. And this is just what I call 
blindness. It means we're just blind. We're completely blind. We don't even know that what we're doing is so counter-effective and his movement is so far away from wealth creation and moving toward more financial stress and strain. And we don't even know that's the case. A metaphor that comes to mind is imagine that you're on a plane, like you got, you got, you want a trip and you're on a first class flight over to Europe and it's fully paid for first class. You're so excited. You're opening the champagne you're eating the steak that's on the menu and you're getting ready to go flat back and, and have nice sleep. And you're just so excited to be on this first class flight. And so you're just living, living the life. What you don't know, because you don't know anything about planes, is that for some reason, this plane didn't get filled up with fuel. And there's only enough fuel to get you halfway across the ocean. And then What's going to happen? That plane is going to go into the water. So you don't know that this plane only is half, has half the fuel it needs to get to your destination. And you're living life as though that there's no consequence, as though this plane isn't going to crash. But if you knew that maybe the plane was going to crash or didn't have enough fuel, we could try to solve that problem. But the dono dono means you're just going to go straight into the ocean. So, so many families are living in this box don't know, without realizing that there's just financial devastation ahead. So this is the blind spot. And it's hard to get out of the, unconscious, the unconscious incompetence because we don't know. But so the, the stage of learning is what we want to understand is that our knowledge is a reflection, you know, it reflects our life. And so if we're having these money issues, then maybe we don't know anything that we don't know, don't know about money, but we know we're having problems. So we want to go over and we start, we want to start increasing our competence. We want to start learning something about money. You're here on this YouTube, for example, to start learning things. So we can move out of being blind to moving to this place that says, I know, I don't know. And this is such a powerful place to be because if we can admit that, hey, I know that I don't know much about this thing called money and I know that to be true because my life is reflecting back to me that money's not working out the way I want to. So when we say, I don't, I know I don't know about something, fill in the blank, but in this case money, then we can start to do something about it. And that's what we want to do. And that's why I created this YouTube channel is so we can, for anybody that says, I don't know, about this thing, or I know I don't know about this thing called money, we can start to learn. I have a money school, which where we spend 12 weeks to learn everything that to say, I don't know. I mean, I know, I'll get this right one at a time. I know what I don't know about money. So we can teach over this 12 weeks, the financial principles of financial laws, financial systems of financial mechanics and create a financial map and get clarity and start moving from this box of being consciously incompetent to now to move to this box of being consciously competent. And this means I know what I know. And this is where we want to get with money. So when we know what we know and we still know what we don't know, now we have power. Now we have power and control to start changing our financial life. The more knowledge that we have and the more tools and the things that we use to change, to be the cause to change, that's how we start changing our financial trajectory. That's how we start changing our life when it comes to the financial aspect of well-being. So it goes, we have to move from, I don't know, I don't know, which is being blind, to have something that wakes us up. When we have something that wakes us up, sometimes maybe it's a crisis, a life crisis or something that's a big wake up, then it can go to... I know I don't know these things. And now we can do some things to get to the place like, hey, I know these things about money. I know enough, or at least I know the things I need to know right now to be able to make these next changes I want to make. So that's the third stage. Now, ultimately, when we have our 10,000 hours and we're in practice and, and we're doing things over and over and over, eventually the fourth stage of competence or the fourth stage of learning is this place of being unconsciously competent. And this is where it's, I didn't even know what I know. And I know that happens to me a lot, that I'll say that all the time that 
somebody will put a mic in front of me and I'm thinking, I don't even think I know anything about this. And all of a sudden put, I get a mic and then I'm just, you can't shut me up. And I have that thought like, I didn't even know I knew that. Like, where did that come from? So over time, you know, we're, we're this, we become this body of embodied knowledge and we all need to become unconsciously competent about something in our life, whatever that skill is, that's really going to give our life meaning and well-being and purpose and have that level of skill. So we all ultimately or hopefully get to this place in at least one category of life. It usually has to do around our work, for example. But we have to gain, we have to be get to the this third and fourth quadrant with other life skills. Might be important to get good at relationships so that we can get have good, healthy marriages and and other friendships and and relationships in life. Certainly, a little story when it came to my health. If you watched the last video that I posted, I talked about my health crisis and that I had to fight for my life for over a year. And what happened is that I didn't know because I was here blind. I didn't know that what I was eating and my lifestyle and all the things I was doing was actually breaking down my body. I was completely blind to it. In fact, I thought it was healthy because I, I looked healthy on the outside, but my body was breaking down on the inside. I was completely blind to the fact that my body was breaking down. Then I had a health crisis. For me, it was a big crisis. And I think that happens to a lot of us is that I had this crisis that became my wake up. So something wakes us up and says, okay, hopefully it doesn't have to be crisis, but sometimes it gets to that level. Then I realized like, oh, now I know, I don't know a lot about health and wellness. And I realized now that what I thought was true, what I was doing before, isn't the right formula for being, for being healthy. So then I started studying and learning and I mean, I just dug in and studied everything I could find as a layman about health and wellness and even got a coaching certification and did some different things, not about the certification, but just to go in to get to this place of I know what I know what it, when it comes to health. And be, when I moved from here, blind, unhealthy, on my deathbed, to start studying this and applying it and get into a place where I know this stuff and can almost teach a lot of it, my, I started to get well and built back my health and, you know, my wellness and my well-being and all these different things, then now there might be a cer certain level of health that is just, you know, unconsciously competent. So these are the four stages. And the kind of the moral of the story here is we want to get to the place of what I say, financial IQ and money know-how, that we know the basics, we know the fundamentals, we know what we we know what we don't know and can start moving that directions and we start to know what we know. And ultimately we can all get the place here. And what I say, when we become unconsciously competent, this is where financial freedom is. This is financial freedom. This is financial independence. This is financial peace of mind. This is safety, satisfaction, this is where we get to breathe, but this is where we know, you know what? It's all going to work out because I understand how money works and I don't even need to worry about it anymore. All right. So in this, in comments or I'm pointing some direction, if there's, you can click up there somewhere, then take the financial IQ quiz, see if you can beat that 35% average. And if you want to set up a call with me, I'll put a link to that as well. If you want to have a money breakthrough call. I offer that every once in a while when I have some openings on my calendar. As always, let me know if there's anything that stood out, but really I want to know which box do you put yourself in and what you're going to do to change it. All right, signing off. Subscribe as always. Talk to you next time.